don't know about you, but I know these things have given me a little bit of embarrassment when I first started nursing. It's not unusual to have a little bit of difficulty knowing how to put them in the right way. It might seem a bit silly, but there is a knack to it. There's nothing worse than walking into either your clinical prac or even when you first graduate and you have to go into a set of OBS. You're all excited, you've got you know your stethoscope on, looking professional, ready to go. And then you get there, you stick them in your ears, and all of a sudden you think, this patient's breathing. They're pink, but I don't hear anything. You hear more going on outside than you can in the patient's chest. And that's not a good sign, ever. So there's a few things about this stethoscope that's really helpful. When you look at the earpiece, if I turn it this way, you can see they point down. Or if I turn it this way, they're pointing up. So if you remember the little mnemonic, down for sound, so if the earpieces are pointing down, that means you're gonna get sound. Because if you remember your ear canals, actually travel this way. So they're actually facing forward towards your nose. So you need your earpieces to face down so you can hear the sound. Make sure that they're in nice and snug. You don't want to completely shove them in there and completely occlude the eardrum, but you need them in there snugly so you can hear. So once they're in, the other thing to remember is the headpiece. So there's two components to the headpiece. This flat surface on this side, the bigger one of the two, is called the diaphragm. On this side, in this particular case, because it has a little scoop there, that's called a bell. In some stethoscopes, if it was flat, like this diaphragm face, then it's called a paediatric. So you have adult sides and paediatric side. Now keep in mind that when you've got these two, it means that it's got an on and an off switch. So when we turn it, you might be able to pick it up. I don't know if you can hear that click. But what it does, and I'll show you a video shortly of the mechanism inside up close. So when you turn it, there's like a little hole, a bit like your flute or recorder. So that then allows sound to pass through and that passes through obviously the tubing up to your ears. So you need to make sure that that hole is facing that direction or that direction. Now obviously you can't see in the diaphragm here but you can and you'll see this in a minute when I've done the little close-up of the mechanism. So when you turn it, I don't think you'd be able to see it on that camera there, but when you turn it, I don't know if you can see that, it actually is a little hole there and then when it's closed you'll see the silver across it. The other way of course, pop it in your ears, not much of a sound, oh yeah, <laughs> we're on. So that's another way that you can do it. Obviously it's quite loud when you tap it so just be very careful. Um, always a good idea to do a quick little check, sound check, before you put it on your patient and same with this side. And a lot of these do actually continue to turn and turn and turn. So there's not like a off and on switch. So once you turn it once, if you're a little bit quick with it and you don't you know, have uh, bank rubber fingers to play with the dial, you can actually turn it off and off if you go too quickly around. Now, with this surface here, you can see that there's a rubber ring around there. They call that a non-chill sleeve. So if you're auscultating a patient, obviously having a rubber ring there is going to make it a little bit warmer. Um, even in cold days, it's still pretty cool. So it's always a good idea to just warm it up a little bit, rub it on your scrubs, just to get it nice and warm. So it's not cold, particularly if you're doing OBS at 6am, I'm sure patients will appreciate a little bit of warmth in their stethoscope when you place it on their chest. So key things to remember, down for sound, and don't forget, if you want to hear, you have to turn the gear. If you want to hear, turn the gear. So I hope that helps a little bit in next time you need to do some OBS or auscultate some sounds in your patient. Remember, down for sound and turn your gear so you can hear.